Hi there YouTube, this is Alexander Dahl again. Today I have this uh, power supply with uh, this analogic power supply coming from a colleague and um, he tried to charge an acid battery with this and unfortunately he made a mistake. He inverted the connection between the battery and the power supply and uh, the power supply emits a smoke and it doesn't work after, after that. So um, we are going here to see if it's possible to repair something and uh, of course to make some uh, investigation I have this power supply which is able to give the main with a current protection and we are going to see how it reacts with the maximal protection here is the green light, uh, light. so let's switch on this device and put here the green LED which is actually the best protection to try this device uh, to make a to, to avoid a short circuit and to make more damage so uh, if you switch on you can see a noise coming from the, the power supply the needle here went on the back and uh, goes on the front this is this needle represents the voltage across this outlet here with uh, this uh, height level protection and you can see this uh, uh, display are still working and according to those outlet here we can see they are still working this one is uh, supposed to give 12 volt which it does and this one is supposed to be 5 volts which is it gives the good voltage and if we want to to see voltage from here we can see absolutely nothing and if we try to make more voltage of course the, the current limitation is on the maximal so if we try to turn the current limiter you can see the needle is going in the back because it's pulling some current and there is a short circuit we have here about 200 milliamp the needle is going back because the voltage is dropping and if we try to make more voltage on the output you, we, you will see a very low voltage something like 9 mini volts at, uh, at the output here and if we put more current like here you can see 0 0.8 amp there is some amp on output and if you go the needle is uh, going completely back and the power supply is switching off so it indicates to you that there is something short circuit in the output here and of course the, um, if you put a more power output here you can see if there is a more current available before to switch off you can see here I put a little voltage but the voltage doesn't appear didn't appear because there is, there is something short circuited here and if you go a little bit higher with the current you can see you are going half uh, amp now the, there is one amp of more than one amp one and thirty hundred three hundred milliamp and if I go over it always always giving current but enable to give some voltage and of course you don't have to, to use this uh, power supply like this one like like this because you can damage it of course 
I have here this uh, power supply to prevent any height current and damaging this stuff. So we are going to dismount this stuff and see what can make this short circuit on the output. Um, according to my colleague, it, it, he told me that it emits some smoke when the, he inverted the, the acid battery. He was very disappointed, so um, I, I, he didn't uh, intend to repair it, but I am... Um, I proposed him to 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 take a look on this uh, very very nice power supply because this is an analogic power supply with a LCD display which uh, is uh, very nice I think uh, and uh, it's a uh, very nice thing to have this kind of power supply because this is analogous analogous power supply can give you some voltage without noise and you can supply lots of things with it without create artifacts coming from a switching power supply. So let's uh, dismount it and try to see what happened inside. Before dismounting this power supply, we're going to see the nature of the short circuit. For this, you need simply to put your multimeter in ohm caliber and see something if it can tell you something about the component short circuit inside and you can see it's a D short actually and if we put the diode, diode mode and see how much voltage it, uh, it can hold you can see an absolutely D short and, and the, the, the display is the same it's no matter about the sense of your probe here. It doesn't matter. It always said dead short. Okay. So you can see here a simple transformer, classical transformer inside, which is uh, cheap and um, uh, and nice. Um, some heatsink actually with uh, TO3 transistors for the regulating. I guess uh, maybe a little, a very little uh, bridge diode actually. I don't know if you can see it. It's a very little bridge rectifier. It's a, a very little. So, um, okay, the main electronic in the, is on the front panel actually, so we need here to dismount gently all this stuff to see what's happened on this PCB and uh, so let's try to dismount gently these things. So the PCB of the front panel is open after a while uh, struggling for to open this. So what you can see here on the on the main output is there is a diode which is supposed to be uh, separated a little bit because uh, there is there is a strange color on the PCB. So um we're going to to test it with a multimeter and see if there is any short So I think uh, I think maybe this is the diode who was destroyed by a reverse current on the output. So uh, if we take the measure on the so if we take the measure on the pad, it's still it's still short and. <coughs> See if I cut a wire 
from this diode like this. Like this. And see again if there is again a short on the output. And no, there is no short anymore. And you can see, you can see here. You can see here a rising voltage, which is actually the output capacitance connected on the on the output. So this diode is here to to protect uh, this power supply from inverted con uh, power and connection. So what we are going to do is to solder this one and put uh, something like similar to to protect again the the output here. I have on this uh, whole unit a diode which is uh, nearly the same than uh, this one on the PCB. Um, I'm going to desolder it and try to replace it. So I have this uh, 35 little bulb. Let's see how it reacts. Okay, because this is the maximum protection and you see light coming from this unit and you need to put the middle power actually. So as you can see it's working 5 volt for 2 amps. If you can see there is 3 amp for 12 volt which, which is uh, the maximal current rated for this power supply. And so if you limit the current you can see the limitation here. And so for the instance if you use maximal um, maximal protection on this box you can see a strange reaction of this unit it's 
is not able to work properly because you can see the drop of the voltage when the device is uh, trying to pull current for working. So middle power and it works. It works nice. Okay, I think my colleague, my colleague, will be very happy. It was Alexander Hart again. See you soon.